welcome everyone in another tutorial today i will show you how to prepare land use and land cover prediction map using modules for land use change evaluation uh, plugin in qgs so before that uh, i have already prepared land use and uh, land cover map for the year of 2010 to 2014 and 2020 using arcgis in this tutorial i will do prediction map for the year of 2013 so for doing this uh, along with uh, level c map i uh, need to create some variable map like uh, dam distance from road distance from river slope and so on you can use euclidean distance from special awareness tools to prepare distance from road map or distance from uh, stream map Uh, remember that uh, all maps need to be prepared and saved in same spatial resolution and geographical references. After completing all essential map in raster format, just open QGIS software and add all maps. Then go to plugins and manage and install plugins and write here M O L U S E and click install plugin. It will take some time. After uh, install the plugin, then go to raster, then the plugin, click here, and you will see a tab. I'm doing it again. Here uh, you can see the RLC map 2010 as initial raster, and I'm um, adding 2014 LLC as final raster. Here you can see the special variables. I have set two special variables, dam, and another one is uh, distance from road. I'm adding these two variables, and then check geometry. You can see here geometry is matched. Geometries of rasters are matched.
The evaluating correlation module contains three techniques for performing correlation analysis uh, Pearson's correlation, Kramer's coefficient, and joint information uncertainty. Here I am using Pearson's correlation and then click check. After that, uh, area changes. The update table buttons produces class statistics and transition matrix tables. The class statistics uh, table shows the initial and final land use land cover areas. The transition matrix uh, shows the proportion of pixels changing from on, uh, on land use cover to another. Here uh, you can uh, change it uh, in uh, hectares or uh, square kilometers. Data from tables can be copied and pasted directly to the spreadsheet programs simply by selecting the desired rows or columns and by pressing the Ctrl plus C keyboard combination. The create change map button will generate a map of change classes. These will be added automatically to QGIS and you can save as a GeoTIFF in your project folder. Then transition potential modeling. Here I am using artificial uh, neural network method to model land use land cover transition potential. Five inputs are used to customize the NN modeling, the neighborhood uh, learning rate, momentum, next iterations number, and hidden layers. After selecting all those criteria, click neural network. Here you can see the minimum validation overall error contains information about minimum breached error on validation set of samples. The delta overall accuracy contains differences between minimum breached error and current error. The current validation kappa shows the kappa value. You will get a graph of each uh, at a graph area that contains errors of training and validation sets. It is the main information about the learning process. The graph can be edited and saved as image. Cellular Automata Simulation The simulation result produces a simulated land use cover map. I already have prepared an actual LLC map for 2020. Now I will create predicted or simulated LLC map for 2020. The validation tab allows you 
to check, validate and compare the simulation results. Reference and simulated land use land cover maps uh, must be loaded in order to start the validation process. After checking the overall accuracy, percent of correctness, kappa overall, kappa history and kappa, you can go for the simulation of your desired prediction year. Here I am simulation for the year of 2030 for LLC simulation or prediction. Finally, I got the simulated LLC map for the year of 2030. Now you can calculate data and other necessary tasks using QGIS or any other GIS platform. Here I am using ArcGIS for uh, preparing final layout. I have prepared a manual for land use change prediction. If you need then write your email in the comment section of this video. I will send you then. If you like this video then you can consider subscribing the channel to get cool JS and remote sensing videos. Thank you for watching.